Okay, now they're in range. Here we go. Use the aircraft carrier. Come on, come on. Good hit. Come on, gimme, gimme, gimme. Ah. Almost, it was almost a good hit. It was right on top of it. Just need to kill that thing, then the rest of the group is worthless. I think I hit an engine, so yeah, but I need to completely kill it. Because an aircraft carrier that's not completely dead, it, it, it can come back to bite you. I think it was in campaign 7 or 6 where it really ruined um, my campaign because I didn't kill it completely. The enemy has been destroyed. Okay. <clears throat> well, I lost three missiles. I didn't lose them. I mean... I expect to lose two or three on an aircraft carrier target. At night time, we turn back with a Sevastopol. We move up here. They have a medium badger. It's a medium badger, is it? Yeah, wait a minute, this tanker flying with me. Why is it sending me that message? Yeah, those don't have armor, but... Yeah, we know how this works. Oh, I hate this part. Okay, now get below them, get below them. No, 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 no. Oh. I didn't go too bad. If it had been larger calibers, would have probably killed the ship. Maybe I should put some hull pieces below the armor, um, the ammo boxes. Okay, I think I need the masks over here. Take this one. Let's take some fuel tanks. Yay, go elephant. Now the fleet rejoins. Yeah, I'm too lazy for landing right now. Okay. Going to get a fuel for almost a full tank because fuel doesn't get cheaper than this, I think. Going to ignore special ammo for now. Yeah, this one doesn't fit. Yeah, no, I'm gonna need to put an ammo piece on it. I could remove this one, move this one, put it up here. Put the, let's put an, oh, I don't have a runway piece here, but I can configure it for later, so. Exit, okay. Yeah, I think that little hull piece actually saved my ship in this case. Also, my bridge got, <laughs> got nearly run. 
that almost destroyed it. <clears throat> I'm going to put some extra padding on here. Wait, wait, I got 130 millimeters one over here that that's really good. This one. Good to upgrade my firepower from 100 to 130. Okay. Next we go here, take recon. It's probably everything full of its support groups. Good thing is we didn't get spotted once yet. Okay. Oh, it's just a thermal, yeah. Problem is those guys, yeah, I'm going to run right into them. Okay, show me what you got. I'm just going to take a look. Price ship in this one. And if I chase them with a with a ship that's slightly faster, I'm going just going to run behind them and I don't have bombs for my I should buy some bombs. Wait a minute. Maybe hit them with one or two bombs to slow them down. Take some rockets. Yeah. That's what I love about this game. There's always some important decisions you have to make, at least if you play in hard. Just to damage them so they fly slow. I could chase them with the small honey badger. I could be able to take out uh, So it didn't spot my main fleet, it just spotted the honey badger. The cast, I think that's some type of tanker with, with some armor on it. I admit, I think the crew is going to knock itself out from the G-Force <laughs> by dodging it. Keep the bottom safe. Oh, I got two types of guns, and that's why it's not shooting like this. If I'm using it correctly, as the doctrine doctrine requires, it's a good ship, I think. Okay, is there anything I need? Yeah, I need a crew protection here. Okay, now you go back over here. And we get some free money. And they probably spot us in the area, so... Just for... Yeah, I'm going to attack the place too, just to get some more money. So the main fleet is... I'm going to park myself here in a slightly remote. Oh, wait a minute. Are we still repairing it? In case a strike group comes looking, so I don't end up right, in, right on top of it. Okay, let's see. This one took some damage. I could take the, hand, the heavy badger down. Then I would have to pick up with the, with the main fleet again. I'm just going to go here first. Okay, let's see. They should die in the first salvo I'm shooting. If I hit the bombs, it probably does some more damage. It's basically a one-ton bomb, uh, the large one. Okay, here we go, baby.
Yeah, so a complete salvo of 130, it just cracks him like this. No, no, don't touch my ship. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. Ah. See, that's actually a weak point in my ship. I originally built the ship to have a flat side profile. However, the, the side shots coming from here and here are actually the most vulnerable points in the ship. Okay, paying attention now. Take this one first. Get crew protection for the next one. I think a lot of campaigns I could have saved that would not have run out of money if I listened to the player comments earlier, like five campaigns earlier, when everybody told me I should pay attention to, to the auto-looting thing. Oh, what's that? Paladin Mark II. I think Paladin was a good ship. I can get this one for free because I give him the pot. I think the purpose of those stars is if you fill them up, when you ask them for favors, um, that's how many favors you can get, I think. Okay, we got a new ship. Let's bag some fuel. Uh, yeah, just, just a tiny amount of those. Aircraft rockets, okay. Ooh, 130 and one of those. Hmm. Now I'm just going to sell those. Wait a minute, I think I have a dent in the arm over here. Probably repair it so don't regret it later. Because I don't want the campaign to end because something got through that place over here. Okay, let's see. I could leave this alone because getting up there is going to cost me fuel and my combat ships, they need escorts with tankers to actually get there. So I'll just, I just leave this one alone. Next fuel storage up here, so if I go here to him now, nah, I'm going to get some fuel. Notice if you move this thing now, this circle's barely moving because I'm carrying so many ships around. Okay, we position the main fleet up here. And we send a badger in. I at least have the peace of mind of not being exposed from the bottom. I mean, I shouldn't say that the engine area is still exposed. That was beautiful, I think, ammo detonation. Oh yeah, victory dance, woo! <laughs> okay. Yay, I get this one without even needing protection. 
get this one. And this one. And this one. Nah, don't want that, no. Okay, <clears throat> first let's check the recon. Is there any strikers in the area? Okay, they're parked. I could get close with a crocodile, but... I mean, how close could I get? If I take the full fuel complement, I can get up to here. Two or three missiles and ruin it. But then again, if I don't ruin it, if, if I... Nah, I'd like to take them off, but... I'm going to attack here and get some better missiles, so I have some reserve before I do that. And where's the next attack? Oh, there it is. Those guys aren't dangerous until here, so that's the next target. I forgot repairing it. Can we wait for night time? I think the, the leftover garrison that protected the aircraft carrier is still in the area. Yeah, the thing has an interesting armor core. That thing should be dead in the first salvo. A 37 meter gun would be nice, but then again, I wanted to have seven main guns. But if three of those 37s, they're really good at, at stopping missiles. But it's actually a really fun minigame if, if you uh, actually pay attention to the things. I mean, I knew how it worked like a long time ago, but I just simply thought it wasn't important enough, which was uh, an immense stupidity on my part. Um, okay. Not sure if I should do even landings with those one because uh, I think the landing gear isn't solid enough for this. I think it's a bit heavy on the right side because most of my ammo con oh come on come on come on get up get up because most of my ammo containers on the top side on the right side rather. I was hoping that the touchdown would stop before my landing gear would be fully compressed. 